I'm predicting that 2023 is going to see a pivot in the way Canadians think about electric vehicles and their growing prevalence in society. A pivot that will see them asking a few more critical questions that so far the general population hasn't really been talking about all that much. What do I mean about all of this? Well, we've generally been thinking about electric vehicles as something that is is just coming more and more into society. Their sales are increasing, and that's all true, and the price is going down a little bit, and that is all true as well. And most particularly, government getting more and more involved in mandating these things and poking around into the business in general. We all know about the rebates that government provides to people buying electric vehicles, but now we have Justin Trudeau's liberal government mandating actual sales quotas. So they've just announced that by 2026, 20% of manufacturer, car manufacturer sales have to be electric vehicles, and has to be 100% by 2035, meaning banning all vehicles other than electric vehicles when it comes to new sales. Now, I, I think Canadians maybe just looking at things from what they've seen in the headlines go, okay, things are trending in that direction, which they are to some degree, and okay, this is kind of inevitable, which it is to some degree, but most of the talking points around electric vehicles that people have, have sort of internalized, taken for granted, they have all been about the positives about all this, and yeah, there's some positives, and just how momentum is going in that direction, fine. But there are some critical questions that people have brought up about this that you're going to hear more and more about. And I, I want to bring up just two items that we are starting to hear more and more about. One is the question of whether or not the grid can actually handle bringing in more and more electric vehicles to that degree in this short amount of time. The basic idea being that electric vehicles, well, they require energy to charge, lots of energy, and right now we have a grid that at times even struggles with certain aspects. California, notoriously this summer, actually told electric vehicle owners to stop plugging into the grid to the system because they were worried about blackouts during a heat wave, therefore showing us, yes, we do have a problem uh, with these new technologies being put onto the grid. Now, it's funny, if you Google around to that issue, you'll see this debunked as a myth in some articles, because people are very unhappy about this being talked about. But what they're just debunking is they're saying, oh no, the grid will be upgraded in time to be consistent with the number of EVs that, that more and more people are getting. Uh, okay, fine, so you're actually acknowledging that the grid as it is today can't handle all of this, and you're assuming that the grid will be updated. And maybe it will, maybe it won't. A lot of these infrastructure things they actually take a lot longer than we think they will. Number two, you're hearing a lot of people, yes, people who want to naysay electric vehicles, but also environmentalists and some activists talking about how incredibly emissions intensive and pollution intensive it is to get some of the elements that are required in making electric vehicles in terms of the mining and refining processes. So I think we're going to hear those issues brought up in 2023 more so than they've been before. I think the two items I just brought up uh, regular folks who don't follow these issues, I think they haven't really heard about them yet. They're not on, on the front page of the newspapers, if you know what I mean. So none of this means that electric vehicles are, are, are not going to happen. They're obviously happening and they're growing and people are choosing, the consumer is choosing to head more and more in that direction. But this idea that government can, can force you to go in that direction in a certain timeline, like Justin Trudeau is, is really aggressively trying to do, that's the stuff that I think is, is going to hit up against reality. It's really idealism meets reality. And that's what we're going to see in 2023 when it comes to electric vehicles.